I have my husband because they are there. Caroline Ogie from Lacombe, Alberta, says her husband wouldn't be here today if it wasn't for STARS Air Ambulance. February 17th, I uh, got sick and uh, was taken to Lacombe Hospital. And then from there, they decided I was positive with COVID pneumonia. So they decided I needed to go to U of A Hospital. The roads were so bad that night, Stephen was flown to Edmonton by STARS and was given only minutes to spare. They hooked me up to every machine they had at U of A to keep me alive. And like they said, there was very little time to get me on the machines. I was told if I hadn't got there when I did, uh, I wouldn't be here. On Friday, the government of Alberta announced they will be more than doubling their funds for STARS, increasing from $7 million to more than $15 million. This significant increase in funding will allow STARS' highly specialized critical care air medical crews to continue serving Albertans, especially those in rural and remote communities, by doing what they do best, saving lives when time matters most. In the 2020-2021 fiscal year, more than 1,400 missions were flown in Alberta. Stephen and his wife say air ambulance services are critical, especially in rural communities. We're just not equipped in the hospitals today to take care of everybody. If you're not in Edmonton or Calgary, you're really left out in the cold. It's overwhelming. It's, it's wonderful that they're there and they, they did save him. In Edmonton, Laura Krause, City News.